I'm Alicia, and this is part two of making and optimizing SVGs. In the previous video, we created an SVG together, and this video, we're going to add Nix to your cut lines, optimize your cut lines, and clean up your SVG. We're going to be using the Component Studio SVG Optimizer tool. Let's go ahead and get that open. From Component Studio, click Utilities, SVG Optimizer. Now we can simply drag and drop in our SVG. If you're using the one from Illustrator like I am, you can set this to 72. If you're using the one from Inkscape, you can set it to 96. You'll see there's a bunch of red lines. These are the paths the laser will follow when cutting. You'll notice that they are the paths we added in the previous video. Let's start adding next. There are two ways to do this. We either split each shape into equal parts, or we can put nicks into specific locations. I'm going to show you both. First, click Show Details and split into equal parts. Now here's a tip. All of these paths have a starting position that has a little arrow on it. When splitting into equal parts, it'll think that that starting place is a nick, so we want to get rid of that. To do that, leave this at 2, and we're going to go ahead and add a nick. Make sure to adjust your cut width to match the component you're using. For chipboard and 3mm acrylic, you can leave it as is. For cardstock, change this to 0 0.02, and for 6mm acrylic, change it to 0 0.005. Now we just click the number to split this into two parts, and click Split Path. You'll now see that it's made a nick right here. Now we want to get rid of this one. To do that, change this to Connect Paths. We'll click on 2. You notice that it highlights that arrow, so we click on 2, and then 1, and we connect paths. It has now gotten rid of that starting position and made a new one that is a neck. We can now go back to split into equal parts. We want to split this into three equal parts because we want three nicks. Click the path and split. You now have three nicks equally spaced without the odd starting point that was causing issues. Another option, if you have a shape like the star where the tips are going to be more fragile, we can place nicks where we want them. Change this to split at point. Again, update your cut width if needed. And let's go ahead and click on seven. Then you're gonna click where you wanna add a nick. In this case, I'm gonna put a nick right here. It's a thicker area, but it's not in the corner. And then split path. We've now created a nick right there. We're gonna repeat what we did before by combining the two paths to get rid of this odd starting area. Let's connect. We're going to click 8 because it highlights this arrow, and then we're going to click 7 and connect path. We've now gotten rid of that. We can now go back to splitting at point, and we'll add two more nicks to this. Now here's one more tip. As long as you have enough nicks, and they're spaced far enough apart, you don't need to get rid of that starting position. So what you can do instead is split into equal parts. And let's say you want three parts, put four instead. You can then click on a shape, split that path. Even though they're not perfectly spaced, it'll still hold the shape to the slug. I recommend being careful with this. If you don't have enough nicks, your shape could fall out and be lost when cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and add nicks to the rest of these shapes. Once all your nicks are added, let's go ahead and optimize this. Click the little hamburger icon right here and click Auto Sequence. On this slider, go all the way to the left if you want it to get done fast, or go all the way to the right if you want it to get done slower, but it'll be more optimized. Now that it's done adjusting the sequence, your file is all optimized. Go ahead and hit the hamburger again and save, and then save the file on your computer. Now we can upload this. Let's go to the site, and we're going to make a new game for the large acrylic shapes. I'm going to click Add to my games and create a new game. For this acrylic, let's say I don't want any art. I'm going to set both sides to blank, and then I'm going to upload my cut file right here by simply dragging and dropping it in. Take a look at your thumbnail and see if it looks right. If it looks good, you're ready to order. And that's how you make an SVG. Thanks for watching.